we participated in this year's design challenge because we wanted our students to gain industry experience on top of the normal technical training that we offer. So far, um, our students have made great progress and we hope other universities will join us in the design challenge in the coming years. This challenge is close to my heart because Innovex grew out of my career university as a result of a program similar to this one. And my biggest reason for our participation is to inspire all the students taking part. Many a times we look forward to finish our time at school, but never having an idea what the world holds for us. This challenge has exposed you to an experience not very many students have. As Innovex, we look at reaching out and making connections with those that have a strong drive that resonates with our mission. And as we get our voice heard, we hope we can create more connections to students interested in working on the African Energy Access Challenge with us. sub saharan Africa is still home to the 99% of the world's population without access to electricity. And it's not until we tell the world our story that everyone will take up arms to join us in getting everyone electrified. Clean cooking important. Um, we are talking about uh, circular economy today, and I think there are three main uh, important elements or, or, or principles. Or uh, we, when we we think about circular economy, there's, you know, there's a number of energy steps along the agricultural value chain, from uh, irrigation to to ground preparation uh, to harvesting and and agro processing. There's so much um, humanity to understand to make any kind of project or intervention successful. And on average, how does our fridges operate? Good luck, enthusiasm goes a long way, and uh, you got this. We're really excited to, to see all the hard work you put into this, and thanks for, thanks for committing to this. Make sure your passion shines through, and persuade us that you really believe in these solutions. And from what I've seen so far from the reports you've written, you have a fantastic set of um, solutions to, to offer, so really make us believe in them. Welcome everyone, really glad to see you um, all joining, really looking forward to your presentations. Um, as, as the other judges have said, it's been great to read through the written material, but it's always great to hear it live from, from the people, people who are proposing it, people who've thought about it. So yeah, you know, you've got a very sympathetic and um, engaged set of judges here. So um, just relax and just looking forward to hearing your ideas. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is Tim Kijiji, Solution from Strathmore University. Hello everyone. 
everyone. I hope everyone's doing well. We are a team from Swansea University and we came up with an idea to improve clean cooking. We call the design Solar Hub. A solution is no solution without the financials. So we're looking at two business models. One is an energy service model where we own the system and sell energy to the SMEs and collect rental fee. And two, we give individuals and organizations to own the system. I really enjoyed your presentation. I thought your diagrams that you used were excellent. The CAD diagram, the traffic light coloring on the tables and the mind map, they all really helped bring their solution to life. So well done there. I just want to say how important this work is. I mean, I think, um, you know, the judges and I kind of live and breathe this work every day. And, you know, as we've gone through our careers, this, um, we just see the need for all of these off-grid solutions, whether it's for hospitals, for farmers, for um, women who are cooking. I mean, you've really tackled a really wide range of, of critical technologies that we're going to need to see emerge. I think this has been a, a great opportunity to see how the engineering skills that you've developed over the last few years of your, your degree program can be applied to solve real world problems. So I, I urge you to consider thinking beyond the, the lifetime of this competition and what you will do with the rest of your careers and how you can apply those skills to, to solve global engineering challenges. So why does competition matter? Well, in my role at Acumen, I get to engage day in and day out with entrepreneurs who come up with solutions that are working for the poor. They're listening to customers, they're understanding their challenges, and they just know through tangible solutions, they can deliver products that are gonna work for the poor. And we're at a really critical moment. We've seen so much progress made on lighting, but so much more work needs to be done on appliances. And it's going to take some brilliant minds to get there. It's going to take people thinking outside the box and recognizing that the context is so, so different for those living in poverty in markets in Africa and Southeast Asia. So thank you for doing the work that you're doing. It's so needed. We need every brilliant mind we can to keep bringing in this tangible change so that we can reach SDG 7 and help alleviate poverty as soon as we can, ideally by 2030. So thank you, thank you, keep it up. The reason why I'm participating on this competition, there are two. One is personal. Uh, it's my own interest and area of research is more on economics of energy access initiatives, specifically those uh, focused towards off-grid contexts. And number two is uh, we are trying, as a team, we're trying to showcase Kijiji solution. A uh, solution that we we confident that it will help increase productivity for rural smallholder farmers and SMEs in rural areas. I think I've learned to acknowledge the role of the end user when designing a solution that their voices are included in the whole thing. But again, it has strengthened further my interest in a career in off-grid sector. Whether I would recommend this to any student or researcher, yes, definitely. It's an opportunity for this researcher or whoever it is to acknowledge the magnitude of the climate change challenge that we are having and then they are able to customize solutions within their own means to support either mitigation or adaptation challenges.